basically what happens here is there's an electrode in there and an electrode in here, which there's, it's just two platinum disc electrodes. And this insert here, separating them so that it's sandwiched all together, has a little reservoir where we can inject our electrolyte. And our electrolyte, our ionic liquids with different redox couples dissolved in them. And so the basic concept of our research is to heat one of the electrodes to, heat both of the electrodes to two different temperatures and generate a temperature difference across the liquid uh, electrolyte. And from there we measure this potential difference that's created. I, I don't think it would change how we harness energy. I think it would just improve efficiencies. It's not something that's a standalone uh, energy generation technique, but it's something that if you can find an, or if we can find a efficient and uh, scalable approach to uh, wrap these type of cells around hot, white, hot water pipes or exhaust pipes in cars, um, and just take advantage of something that is going to be at a high temperature, whether this thermal this device is there or not, and just add a little bit more uh, electrical conversion into the into the process.